Hey! Wolf gang dying, never lagging. 2K bills to the fraction. Breaking it down to the pound, plus news and views on tips to get you cracking. It don't stop till we on top, boy. Brick by brick, we got a bill. Give a like and drop us up. This Wolf gang dying, you know it's real. Never chill. No. Sauce it up, we stacking, getting bills. Keep the traction, getting badges. 2K champ, this how it feels. This the dawn, yeah. Running it up, no time to play. You know what's on, yeah. The greatest builds inside 2K. All right, so first things first, to go ahead and set up the actual build, man. You do have to be in the main menu. We're going to go to settings because we need to change to the metric system versus the imperial system. You know, pretty much the same setup for, you know, damn, they're all the glitches. So we're going to go ahead and go into the metric system so we can get started with the glitch. Now we're going to go into the builder, man. And when you get into the builder, first thing you're gonna do, find an empty slot, and you wanna go ahead and create a new build. And the only reason why I suggest creating a new build is because sometimes if you try to do it on the old build, it just doesn't work out the right way. But for the position, we will be going with a point guard. Handedness, we will be going with whatever you feel comfortable with. The jersey number is also up to you as well. And once you get all of that taken care of, you want to go to 1.77 meters, 65, well, 66 kilograms, and 1.78 meters uh, for the wingspan as well. And then we're just going to do what we always do on these glitch builds. This first build is not the actual build that we're going to make. So we're going to go ahead and max it out, man, and go ahead and max it out, put all the points on it so we can go ahead and get this out the way so we can get to the actual glitch. That's all we, that's, that's what you're here for. Let's go ahead and get to it. Now, this act, this build does not matter. Fill out everything. Uh, you want to pick the takeovers. Takeovers don't matter either. So just pick two real quick. Um, it gives you an actual build name. Uh, offensive threat is what I got here. That does not matter. We're not worried about nothing in the beginning. So now we're gonna go ahead and edit this build and go back into the settings because this is where the glitch starts you only got to do this you know a little this, this is a quick one so go back into settings now you want to go back to the imperial system because you want to make sure you'll build a six seven um go into the imperial system and then we're gonna go back to the file we created so go ahead and click that uh, go back to that point guard you created, it should say 510, 147, click yes, and you're going to be able to see as soon as you get on, it says 510 and 510, but this build is glitched, so as soon as you start going up, you see that the, the wingspan doesn't keep up, so we want to go 6'7", 180 pounds, 6'6", six, six on a wingspan, and the body shape is completely up to you. Now we can get into the actual build that y'all came here for, man. Let's get right into it. All right, man, so getting straight into the actual attributes on this build itself, man, we are going to get started with the close shot. We're going to take the close shot up to a 66. You will need just a little bit of it if you want to be like the exact Luka type of player. You know what I'm saying? And now for the driving layup, we're going to go crazy high because Luka's, like, acrobat badge got to be on Hall of Fame. My dude finishes in the lane with the best of them, so make sure you put that all the way up to a 95, man. We want to get that acrobat on Hall of Fame. We definitely want to have Slither on Hall of Fame. You will need quite a bit of that in order to get all of that. So yeah, 95 with that. Now for the driving dunk, I do have to take that up even though you really don't dunk like that, but I have to at least be able to get Lucas dunk package, you know what I'm saying? So take that driving dunk up to a 74, and with that, you also get some real nice animations, man, but the, the cutoff for his dunk package is a 70 with a 40 vert, so we're gonna make sure we knock that out. Put a little bit of post control on it. Even though this is a point guard build, you'll definitely be able to take those little small point guards into the post and really just punish them, bro. It's your fault for making that 510. We about to put you to work. So with the mid-range shot, we're going to take that up to an 84. And with the three-point shot, we're going to take that up to an 88. I didn't feel the need to max that out just because, for one, it's only one more point. The badge difference wasn't big either. So I just kind of went with that 88 to make sure I can get all the badges that I feel like I'm going to need on this build. Now for the free throw, we're going to take that up to a 73. Same thing as usual with the free throw, man. Make sure you put it up high ish like 70s ish just because you do want to make sure that you can actually knock those down you do not want to be leaving points at the line just trust me on that with the pass accuracy we got to go high this dude is an elite playmaker so we're going to go to 93 for the pass accuracy now with the ball handle we're going 87 because we do want to make sure we get gold unpluckable i've been personally feeling like 
they must have done something to stills lately i've been seeing a lot more than usual man let me know down in the comment section if y'all been seeing a lot of stills i swear i have now for the speed with ball we're gonna put that up to an 80 just to get that quick first step on gold while i don't think he's the most athletic point guard you know you want to make sure you can get that quick first step to get to the goal just like he does at a routine basis man now for the defense and defense and rebounding badges you want to put perimeter defense up to an 85 just so you have some lateral quickness so you can play a little bit of defense y'all saw in that last game when he put the team on his back you know what i'm saying dropped all those points he was playing a little bit of defense going to 60 for the steal a 65 for the block speed 80 acceleration 85 strength you want a little bit of that i told you we're gonna put that vert up to at least 40 make sure we can unlock that and then a 99 for the stamina leaves you with a batch count of 21 29 30 and 12 man but all right we can go ahead and finish up this build i'm gonna show y'all the takeovers that i will go with in order to get the best out of this build i will go with spot up precision definitely and pull up precision i would honestly probably put pull up precision a little bit um put it as the first takeover just so when you get that you can start knocking down those mid ranges knocking down those moving shots because luca is really like a moving shot artist man my dude gets crazy with those step backs and definitely with those um you know just other moving shots and i would highly suggest if you want to make this build like a luca type build you're gonna have to put a step back on man it and it's really a, a solid move to add to your arsenal if you aren't in the the practice of doing step back so far man now, all right we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna show you what this build is called and then we're gonna get right into those badges man so the build comes out as a two-way threat shades of my man shay gilgis alexander d'angelo russell and lonzo ball not bad comparisons if you ask me but like i said we can go ahead and test the build so i can show you some of the badges that i would put on this build to make it match my playstyle slash lucas playstyle so for the finishing badges, as I alluded to earlier, man, I'm definitely going to put Acrobat on Hall of Fame. I just feel like that is definitely something you should be able to use. Grace Under Pressure, I'm going to put that on bronze. We will put Teardropper on gold. If y'all not using Teardrops and y'all got one of those small point guards, I really feel like y'all are kind of like doing yourself a disservice. I mean, they're a really overpowered move if you know how to time them right. I would highly suggest putting that meter on until you can get the timing down because, like I said, it is a very OP way to play. Uh, Limitless Takeoff, we're gonna put that on silver. Unpluck, I mean unstrippable, we're gonna put that on bronze. Posterizer bronze, and then Slithery Finisher bronze as well. And on to the shooting badges, man. There are some things you definitely will not want to forget, man. Blinders, of course. We're gonna need Circus 3s on gold. I'm actually gonna take difficult, not difficult shots, but Dead Eye off of this build. I don't feel like I need it. And I want difficult shots a little bit higher, but we're gonna go with a bronze catch and shoot. Gold Hot Zone Hunter for sure. Sniper put that on Hall of Fame. Stop and Pop put that on gold as well. And like I said, difficult shots put that up a little bit higher because I do like to do those moving shots. So I'm gonna put that on gold. Now for the playmaking badges. Before we even get there, I just want y'all to know it's probably where I would add some extra badges. In all honesty, the defense is just okay, but I would probably add them to the playmaking because y'all know Lucas bag is deep on the dribbling end on the playmaking end of the ball you want to make sure you have everything that you need all right let's go ahead and get into the playmaking badges so we go ahead with the essentials first you know i got to put bullet passer on this build i put that on every build i have honestly the game is unplayable if you don't have bullet passer uh hybrid drive put that on because i do plan on driving quite a bit with this build quick first step on gold stop and go on gold i really like that badge uh, unpluckable on gold definitely gonna put handles for days on there and space creator like i said this is the part where i would add some extra badges just to get tight handles i feel like that'll help out a, a lot and then needle threader man i feel like people sleep on that badge but it will definitely help you not get as many turnovers i mean if you just not throwing stevies out there you'll be fine but i don't like to get a lot of turnovers but i also like to take a little bit of a risk sometimes when i'm trying to fit the ball into a tight spot so make sure you have needle threader on if you play like me um dimer also wouldn't help and bailout is definitely something that i'll be looking to put on now time for the defensive badges like i said this build is just okay defensively so with the clamps we're going with silver interceptor silver chase down bronze hustler bronze intimidator definitely gonna want that on there and then i'm gonna put rim protector on bronze as well actually hold up i'm gonna put tyler's defender on bronze as well after you add some of those other badges to the playmaking badge category this will be a good spot to put in a couple extras so you can get ankle braces and so you can get like pick dodger and all that this build will be playing the one 
and it would just be advantageous to you to have a few more defensive badges, man. But that's pretty much it on the build. Let me know what y'all think about it down in the comment section. You know, the Mavs really showed out last night, so I had to do a, a Luka build, man. I had to scrap the one I was going to do for the day and get this one out here. But all right, I will catch y'all boys in the next one. It's your boy, Don, and I'm out of here. Peace. Piling paper, got him talking nice to me. Down the bottle, it be going right through me. Brown baby, down to take a flight to me. They think that I'm stunting, but it's slight to me. Piling paper, got him talking nice to me. Guess that's why the